Okay, I think I seen a liquor on a wall. Oh my god! Oh my god! That scared the heck out of me. All right, y'all. First thing first, let me welcome you guys back to more Resident Evil 2. Let me start this intro off by thanking each and every one of you guys for watching my videos that I post and the shorts as well. It truly means a lot to me to see y'all like what I post on the channel. So again, thank you. Before we jump back into the game, before we get back into the game, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment sections below. Guys, I'll also look at the comment sections too. And if you leave a comment, there's like a 98% chance I'll respond back to you. <laughs> and don't forget to hit that like button. By doing all this, guys, by doing all this, or I'm pretty sure by at least doing one of the three I just mentioned above, it helps my videos reach more audiences. Well, at least according to what I read on Google with the YouTube algorithm and stuff like that. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, with that being said, again, thank you guys so much for coming back. And let's pick up where we left off at. All right, guys, let's see here. Picking up where we left off at in the last video, I'm pretty sure we have to head back to the nap room over here. Because we picked up the signal modulator. So I'm pretty sure we get to use the signal modulator in the nap room. And also, where's that other room at? Oh, okay. We also got to go back here and get the large gunpowder. We definitely need that. And the circuit breaker room. This room here um, is where we found the liquors and the zombies. Uh, so, yeah. So we definitely need to get here first. But what I want to do... Since we're closer to the nap room, I'm going to go to the nap room first and try the signal modulator or circuit, whatever it's called, on a circuit breaker here and see what we get in the nap room. All right, guys, we made it back to the nap room. So let's try this circuit breaker on here. Okay, it says MUF. So I guess we use it. Error. All right. I'm not too sure what I did there. So I guess we examine. It says M U F. Okay. M U F. Okay. So I guess I got to match up the lines. Okay. There it is. Do I just back out? Okay. So it saves there. Uh, guys, I don't know what's going to happen when I insert this, but we about to find out together. Oh, God, if that zombie comes out, I'm going to lose my mind. Stay down. Oh, God. Oh, God, my knife broke. Okay, how long is this going to take? Is he down now? Jesus Christ. Wayne's Lee notes. Dear God, blood everywhere. What the hell's happening? They're dead, all dead. It was those men in black, USS headquarters, special forces. But why isn't their job to protect us? White brains in a sea of red. This can't be happening. Dear God, why? Didn't everybody say I was a genius? A genius like me can't die in a place like this. Always got results. They're screwing me. Well, maybe I screw them. I win a Nobel. I'm a hero, a genius, a god. I will not die. I will. Aw, oh, man. That's sad. All right. So at least we figured out that before we use the signal modulator, we ought to actually um, change the, the signals. That's required. Guys, I don't know how to even explain this, but I'm pretty sure you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Now we have to make our way back to the east area. We got to go back to, hmm. Let's see. I think we should go back to the lobby in this area here and go down the stairs. Because we go down to the stairs, it would take us down this way. 
And then once we get to the bottom of the stairs, we're into this little hallway here. I'm not too sure if the liquors are still going to be in this area here. I do not remember killing not one liquor. And we're running low on ammo. Hmm. But I think that's the best way for us to go. You know, guys, I just need to take a moment and just really contemplate how in the world did the government or the city of Raccoon City or whatever did not know that this was being built underneath the city. This place is huge. Seriously, it's huge. All right, let's get back on track. All right, guys, we made it back. And a nice thing about it is that we found an extra hit pouch to give us two more spaces. So we can carry more things, which I think we might have to bring out the Matilda and put the Samurai Edge back. Only because the Matilda right now has the more handgun powder. Handgun powder. More ammunition is what I'm trying to say. And I think we should bring out the flash grenades. Uh, because we only got... Well, we do have a spare knife. I don't want to use this last knife, guys, if I don't have to. So I'd rather use the stun grenades. Now, see, what I don't understand is that this area here is still red. But I've gotten everything in this area over here. Wait, whoa, wait a minute. I guess I didn't. I didn't get everything in this area. But would you look at that? We got more handgun ammunition. All right, and now this area is clear. All right, so before we continue, let me go back to the item box. Okay, where are you, Samurai Edge? Uh, all right. Excellent. Now I'm going to put the Matilda back. All right, guys, now we are in business. I forgot how dark it is here. Just making sure nothing don't pop out on me. Okay, it took us forever to kill this guy. All right, one thing I have to say about this game is that finding ammunition for your weapons are very, very difficult. So when you're playing Resident Evil games, I'm pretty sure you guys already know, make sure you use your ammo very wisely. What in the world? Now, that's scary. Oh, whoa. Okay, that was even more scary because then the body just started moving on its own. Guys, I am really nervous because I did not kill the liquors. Uh-oh. The music changed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh my god, guys, I was so scared. <laughs> oh god, let's equip the stun grenade. Okay, I think I've seen a liquor on the wall. Oh my god. Oh my god. That scared the heck out of me. Right at the door. I do see the liquor right here. I have to kill it. And it just run away? Oh man, that that just scared the heck out of me. Or is that just a liquor? Oh my god, this thing moves fast! Oh my god, it took all my bullets. It just took all of my bullets. And I just got finished saying that ammo in this game is very hard to come by and I just used all of my ammunition. Alright guys, we gotta go back to the item box and take the Matilda out. Alright guys, we are here back at the item box. I am going to put the Samurai Edge away, take out the Matilda, maybe I have to take out the 
Grenade? Oh, I don't like this, guys. Alright, guys, we made it back. I got the Matilda. Now, I'm afraid if I open this door, there's another zombie there. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? This game know what it's doing. And I forgot the Matilda shoots in bursts. Oh God. Really? Really? That's the last thing I wanted to do. Where's the liquor, guys? I'm moving very, very slowly. I don't know what a liquor is, guys. I don't see it in this area over here. So it's probably around the corner. All right. Let's move slowly. All right, so right here is Murph again. So let's go back to the signal modulator, examine it. Okay, let's press X. So we gotta go to Murph and make sure it's the right signal. All right, we got it, guys. So let's back out. Enter the signal modulator. All right, guys, we did it. All right, guys, we turned everything back on over here. So I'm not quite too sure why on the map the door still show up as red. But I'm going to go back down it towards the left and see maybe if the door opened back up. Guys, can you imagine on Halloween you see this coming after you? I would be terrified. Okay, low temp testing. Any zombies? Oh god, of course there would be a zombie. All right, I don't want to waste any ammo. So, maybe if I knife it. I don't know why these zombies. Doctor Lee, you have five new messages. Alexa, you just made me scared for my life. <laughs> of course, you're not done. That's a tall person. Stay still, so I can get head shots. Thank you. Woo. All right. So let's interact with this Wayne Lee inbox. Sender Rick Mendoza, subject, what he's up to. Can you believe that, Cartwright? Cool your jets. Well, I guess he is the boss. For now, anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. Oh, I think that was a trophy that we found. So you couldn't make our little meeting? Fine. Don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next and get it done tonight. We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where is that cart right hiding? Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this? You have to help us. Please reply. Do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. I still have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed, but you might have to wait a while. That's sad. All right, so what's in here? Okay, so that there's no extra zombies in here. Uh-oh. <sighs> Who left the freezer open? Wow, we gotta make sure there's no zombies popping on. Uh, of course, there's a zombie right on the floor. 
Let's go around. What is that? Oh. oh, wait, we get to interact with something. So I guess this is where we get to use the dispersal cartridge, the solution. All right, okay, begin in process. All right, dispersal cartridge herbicide. Cooling complete. What do we have here? Nice gunpowder. And that's it in this room. We got the dispersal cartridge herbicide. It says a cartridge for dispersing various solutions. So I'm pretty sure we could take this back into the greenhouse, which is on basement level one. So I think we have to go back to the greenhouse control room, disperse it here. And I'm pretty sure that would kill the zombies, the plant zombies over here. I'm just guessing. And I think we need a level three badge to access the senior staff PC, which if you guys have not been watching my previous videos, that the guy with the uh, level three clearance is dead, but he's hanging up against glass right here. Right here in this little area over here. Right there. By plants. So I'm pretty sure once we use the greenhouse control room with the dispersal solution, it should kill all the zombies in here. I'm not quite too sure, but we're going to find out together, guys. We're going to find out together. It is pretty dark down here. It's really turning the lights or something. Did I just hear a zombie? All right, guys, you got to play this real carefully. Where is the liquor? Guys, we have one more liquor. I will feel more confident if we take down this liquor before we proceed. Because one thing I do not want is this liquor tag teaming up with somebody else. All right, guys, when we turn this corner, the liquor is going to be here. Did it just drop to the ground? Ah, oh, run! I missed. I missed again? Whew. Okay, the liquor is down. Oh, God, I feel so much better. I feel better. What do we have here? Another knife. Nice. Whew. And we also got a way to save. And we have an item box here. Okay, this room definitely came in handy. All right, we got more fuel for the flamethrower. Let's reload the flamethrower. What's over here? Yellow gunpowder. So we have high-grade yellow gunpowder combined with gunpowder to make shotgun shells. Okay, so I do remember that we do have another yellow here. Right here. So let's combine these two to make shotgun shells. Wait a minute, mag? Wait, what did I just do here? Oh no, don't tell me I made, wait, where is that mag? Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? I'm up to think of a machine gun, guys. <laughs> it's our lightning hawk. There we go. We definitely need that large gunpowder. All right, so let me put this knife back. All right, so we definitely need that large gunpowder. I don't know why the music is changing again. See, when the music changes, guys, I get real nervous.
When the music changed, that means something is not right. Okay, so we got the large gunpowder. So what we're going to do, we are going to combine the large gunpowder with the small to make handgun bullets. And we are going to reload the Matilda. You know, come and think about it. I should have reloaded the Samurai Edge first, right? That would have been smarter. It's all right, guys. So let's take out the Samurai's Edge. Okay, let's equip the Samurai Edge. All right, I'm going to put the Samurai Edge back now. Now, see, my question is, since I'm not carrying a shotgun, well, I mean... I'm not carrying a shotgun. What am I talking about? <laughs> Since I have no shells for the shotgun, there's really no need for me to keep it. So I might as well just do some little bit of inventory management here. Yeah, I think we're good here. I think we are good. Since we clear basement level two, now I believe it's time for us to go back up the stairs here and go to the greenhouse control room. Uh, but I don't know what these plant zombies are, and I don't know how many there are. So I still think the best way for us to go is up the ladder, since we're right next to the ladder right here. That would bring us up to this area over here. I don't like it when the music changes. It scares me. All right, Leon, you don't got to go up the ladder that quick, Leon. Oh! Oh no! You see what I mean? Oh my god, what happened? Get off me! I'll take my knife back, thank you. Holy crap, that was scary. Whew. Guys, I would be lying if I said my palms was not sweaty. <laughs> Alright, let's try the disperser cartridge now. And let's see what happens. Dispensing solution now. All right, so that's how we're going to get the card. That did the trick. All right, so now we get to go and get the level three clearance badge. Warning. Bardo. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been logged and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Okay, thank you, Alexa. Oh, God. Are these creatures still up? Why won't they just die? All right, I get to combine it with my wisp band. Now I have level three clearance. What the? F Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Mr. X? Oh my God! Get off me! Get off me! Run! No! No! Oh my God! I don't want to even stop. What the? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, guys. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Alright, so we have an inbox here. Guys, I'm not going to read this. So if you want to read this, just pause the screen. Holy crap. Guys, I am running for my life. Holy crap, Mr. X scared the heck out of me. You know what? To be honest, I completely forgotten about Mr. X. So I was genuinely terrified. <laughs> I was genuinely terrified, guys. All right, guys. It seemed like we finally made it to the west area. Hopefully the G 
Leon, I hope so too. Because I am really terrified right now. Really terrified. Oh crap. Okay, I see a grenade on the ground. I have to pick this up. What was this? Another tape? Okay. What the heck happened here? We do have an ammo box here. Item box. So let's put back the digital cassette tape. And let's take out another health. And let's take out another knife, just in case. So at least now we have a backup defensive weapon. All right. So for this signal modulator, we have to use signal OSS. So let's go to examine. X. R1. OSS. There we go. That wasn't all that hard. Let's input this. All right, this area is still lit up in red. What is this room? Bio reactor room. Okay. Okay, we do have a purple herb here. Blue herb. I said purple. Okay, so that was the only thing that was in this area. All right. So like there's nothing here. Besides your normal PPE. Oh, thank God. Gunpowder. Let me go back to the uh, item box. And store the yellow gunpowder. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Let me take out the green herb. While I'm here, I'm doing some inventory management, guys, because this is the requirement for this game. So I mixed the green herb and the blue herb. Now, let's watch this cassette and see what's on it. work I'm not handing over anything we have our orders dr. Birkin I'll ask you one more time So those were G samples. So as soon as we get to access this computer now, William Birkin's inbox. All right. All right, guys, let's head into this way. Uh oh. Okay, we're being clean. All right, that's not scary at all. I don't like open areas like this because games like this is where you get a boss fight. I played a lot of games to know this. Bio reactors room. All right, let's go ahead. Whew. Okay, I was really nervous, guys. Oh my god, what is that? What the hell is this? Oh, 
Okay, so it's just to the right. What the heck? That's disgusting. Research diary. What do we have here? Huh. That was easy. All right. Now back to Ada. Attention. Unauthorized removal of a level four. Oh god. That was too easy. Wait, what? What? Self-destruct? Self-destruct? Oh, God. What did I just do? Okay, so we don't need a signal module anymore, so let's just store that. We do have high-grade gunpowder, so we get to make more um, mag ammo with that. I don't see regular gunpowder anywhere. Let's combine that with this. Um, hmm. Let's combine those two together to make more mag. Alright, I'm gonna save it here, guys. Alright, guys, game is saved. Wait a minute, large gunpowder? Are you kidding me? Now we found the large gunpowder. Oh, this game could be so cruel. All right, let's store the large gunpowder. Uh, this game could be so cruel. All right, so we took the uh, sample out of the sample area over there. So now we activate some self-destruct mechanism. So we have to get back to Ada, to the train car immediately before this whole place blow up. All right, guys, so we got to go through the BIOS reactor's room, head straight down, pass through the BIOS testing lab, Go down the west area platform, turn left, go to the north area, and get back to the cable car. All right. That don't seem difficult enough. Seems very simple. All right, guys. I'm going to end part eight video off here. Like always, thank you guys for coming back each and every time I upload a video to the channel. It truly means a lot to me. And uh, without saying too much, without saying too much, guys, I will catch you guys in the next episode.